Let's talk about the independent review of how the school district handled Nicholas Cruz's case. You have called for that. You want there to be an investigation into what happened with his mental health. He was deemed a behavioral problem. He was expelled from Marjorie Stillman Douglas. He did go to an alternative school. We know at some point he did go back. There are people who are blaming the district for not doing enough for him. Well, you know, I, one of the things I, I try not to do is to um, speculate, make assumptions without having all the facts. Um, I think it's incumbent on this district to have an independent, comprehensive, thorough review that's done and done in a very transparent and urgent way so that we can identify you know, what happened to this student academically, what happened in terms of mental health services, social emotional services, um, you know, what, um, what were, were staff um, doing and, and his whole journey through the system. So one, um, we can learn where there were opportunities for us to improve what we're doing, um, take those lessons and, and make changes in the district so that we can minimize and prevent um, anything like this from happening again with, with our students. Now, I can tell you, if we provided services perfectly to any um, student, the fact that you know, he was still able to go out and purchase a, 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 a deadly firearm, there's still a hole in the system. So it's not just about what the school district um, can do. We need to also look at what does law enforcement need to do? What does the juvenile justice system need to do, mental health services, all of these different entities need to be working together in more collaborative fashion. That was a conversation I had with the governor and lawmakers, and within 7026, this bill had passed, there are provisions in there that encourage that kind of collaboration, mm -hmm. that type of sharing of information, and then the ability to take action. So if we have someone that has um, behavior disabilities, mental health issues, we should be able to engage law enforcement and they should be able to, to confiscate any uh, firearms that they have. And the only way they can get them back is they would have to go through a court process and petition and to have them back. And that's, and that's part that of the bill, to expand that authority bill. For right, for, by right. law enforcement. Yeah, because today you can have someone, regardless of their behavior and what they do, you can Baker Act someone, mm -hmm. and within 72 hours, they, you have to return their firearms. Mm -hmm. So again, they're, they're, they're holes in the entire system. Let's talk about law enforcement for a mm -hmm. minute because as the investigation continues, there's been a magnifying glass now on what the Broward Sheriff's Office did or did not do. Mm -hmm. There were allegedly th 23 calls to the Cruz home. Two deputies are yeah. now being looked at to see what they did or didn't do in, in those calls in that case. Uh, there, the SRO officer, Scott yeah. Peterson, didn't go in. He was outside yeah. for four minutes. Mm -hmm. Now there's discussion of whether a perimeter was called uh, around the school. Sheriff Scott Israel has been out front and center with you since the very beginning of all of this. Uh, there are now calls perhaps mm -hmm. for him by some to step down. Do you think that the sheriff should step down? Uh, at this point, I think it would be way premature to come to that type of conclusion. First thing I will tell you is that my observation on the day of this tragic uh, um, uh, shooting, law enforcement, um, first responders, um, they were there in full force um, and, and they were um, you know, exhibiting tremendous um, courage, uh, putting um, their lives on the line, running in and out of the building, um, uh, making sure students were, were, were getting out of there. So uh, I don't want us to paint um, you know, a, a broad brush around law enforcement, our first responders. I mean, I, I think they are outstanding. There may be some that didn't do what they were supposed to do. I can't make that assessment at this point. What I will say is that um, there's an there's a investigation that has been ordered by the state. I think the, the governor um, initiated that through his office. We need to let that investigation proceed. Um, that needs to be done thoroughly. And then we should all be able to see the outcome of that. And then we could draw our conclusion and assessments based on the facts that we have in front of us. So at this point, it would be, it'd be hard for me to, to do that. Again, my experience with um, the sheriff's office and especially relative to this incident um, and what I saw from other municipal, municipalities and first responders, um, I, I thought they were outstanding.